Hey, Grilling with Rich Fans. We're here in the heart of Washington, D.C. at the Safeway Barbecue Battle, 19th anniversary with Derek from Flatlander Barbecue. Derek, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Rich. So what's really cool about this team is that they're sponsored by Green Mountain Coffee and they use coffee, their coffee for their barbecue sauce. So Derek has volunteered to graciously give us a, like kind of like a, t a tasting on what this sauce tastes like. So Derek, sure. take it away. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about what your product is. Yeah, so absolutely. So actually what we've done is two things. We've rubbed some of the meats with, actually all the meats are being rubbed with either our coffee or with our brew over ice iced tea products as well. Uh -huh. uh, so right now all that we have on the smoker is a coffee rubbed brisket and we're actually using a Sumatran Reserve from Green Mountain Coffee um, along with some orange zest and some paprika and a few other, you know, some salt and uh, sugar and stuff. Uh, so that's on there right now. We're also smoking with green coffee beans. So we've actually taken unroasted coffee beans that we got from our coffee department and putting them on the fire like you would with, like hickory chips or you know apple wood chunks. So you get that smell coming from the coffee as well. And then right now we've got two barbecue sauces, both made with our Nantucket blend iced coffee. But what we do is, because the iced coffee is really concentrated, so that when it dilutes with the ice, it gets you know, the right level, we just brew it without ice, so it's a really, really strong cup of coffee. Um, and so that's what we're using. And this one has whole jalapenos in it that have been hooked with a knife. Uh -huh. um, to get the juices yeah, going. Yeah, so that's a little spicier. And then this one, a little bit more savory, a little bit more kind of uh, balanced, you know, like some uh, some garlic going on in there, some uh, five spice and stuff. So, so why do you think coffee is such a great ingredient to add to your barbecue sauce? Like you don't really see that on the shelves. And no, I think it's it's actually kind of a good match flavor-wise. It's uh, coffee has a lot of those roasted, earthy flavors that barbecue typically has. Uh -huh. You know, um, when you think about it, it's kind of the same process. You're taking something uncooked and you're cooking it and, um, with coffee, and same thing. It's just the flavor profiles match up really, really well, um, and it adds a lot of richness and earthiness to the to the barbecue. So, with nobody look, nobody watching this video, yeah. what would you be like the secret uh, tip that you would suggest? Uh, adding to the barbecue sauce for the coffee, like you know, uh, adding like actually, I, you could even take any store bought uh, uh, barbecue sauce and add like half a cup or a cup of really strongly brewed coffee uh -huh. to it, and it adds a lot more flavor, adds some depth of flavor and some richness to it. So okay, so let's get a uh, taste. Yeah, try some. Okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. So this is the jalapeno. Now is it gonna have like a very hard spice or no? It's uh, I think it's it's got a pretty good balance. Okay. Wow, you definitely taste the uh, coffee. Yeah, yeah wow. Yeah. That's very good, very good. Yeah. Okay, and let's try this. Try the other one. Coffee scoops. Co coffee scoops, awesome. <laughs> I like the consistency. It's very, very nice. Yeah. It works really well. Yeah. It's, kind of, it's, a, it's a richer, thicker. So you would suggest using this like on a pork or, or a brisket? We're thinking this one's probably going to be on possibly brisket okay. and in ribs. Okay. Probably. And this one, we might use it on pork as well. And this one's probably going to be probably chicken. I see. Yeah. And then just for let everybody know, where do people find you? Are you guys on Twitter, Facebook, on the website? Yes. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, absolutely. No, at GreenMountainCoffee.com. Okay. Uh, and then we're on Facebook, uh, on Green Mountain Coffee, and as well as Brew Over Ice. Okay. Uh, Twitter, Green Mountain Coffee, and Brew Over Ice as well. Uh, so, of course. Okay, we're going to definitely throw some links on our website, GreenMountainCoffee.com, for all the resources. So check them out. Derek, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you.